In this video, I'll be looking at a FreeBSD-based OS, which has been inspired by MacOS, and is called Airy X or Airy 10. I, I, my pronunciation is terrible, and if, uh, and if anybody wants to correct me, then please drop a little comment in the uh, comment section down below, and I'll be pleased to change it for next time. Airy X is a new open source desktop operating system that aims to provide a similar experience and compatibility with MacOS, and... On x86-64 systems, it builds on the solid foundation of FreeBSD, existing open source packages in the same space, and new code to fill in the gaps. OEX aims to feel sleek, stable, familiar, intuitive. It handles your daily tasks and provides much compatibility as possible with a commercial OS that inspired it. Sounds very interesting, and we'll have a look. I'm just going to boot up my test machine and fast forward the boot. Oh, a nice little splash screen. I like that. It's a good touch. And wow, that looks nice. That looks great. I'm not one for the just the the general aesthetics of something, but that is a nice uh, nice bit of wallpaper. Very reminiscent of something like Windows XP in the old days. Uh, everything's in place. Let's have a look in. So on the top row here, we have a, a menu. Pull down menu, no doubt. We got file, edit, view. Go bookmarks tool and help, and across there you got a little uh, show hidden notifications and status. Um, clipboard and night color control, display configuration, very nice, yeah, very fancy. And you've got battery and brightness. You obviously you got your calendar and your clock, and there's your clock. Pulls down the same calendar, and a little notification like do not disturb etc and your wallpaper if you right click uh, create folder it's all the usual things that you get and desktop preferences oh very nice nice and simple you can change wallpaper etc hmm we'll have a look at this pull down menu so you got about this computer system preferences which yeah, recent items Sleep, restart, shut down, lock screen, log out. So, um, file, open, create, new, get info. Sounds interesting. Uh, edit, and then you got view. Yeah. Go. Oh, right, okay. So that looks like it goes to the applications folder. Bookmarks, tool. No. Okay, that's good. And the about gives us the file, which is probably the desktop thing that you see in. Uh, based upon PC man. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, so that explains the desktop then. Right. So next we'll have a look at uh, about. That's a nice little about screen. Tells you the, the test machine specs. And it's Tanuki's the... Uh, the code name of this release. That's a cute little picture. I like that. It's all looking and feeling very, uh, very slick at the moment. There wasn't a line on the description in the, the homepage about it being a very sleek and smooth experience. It uh, certainly is. You can't convey that in a video, of course, when you, know, you have to feel the OS yourself, but they seem to have done a very good job so far. So we'll have a look at uh, system preferences. And yeah, that's uh, definitely KDE, Plasma. I mean, all these things I should imagine will get worked upon later to give it more of a, uh, a MacOS feel. But it doesn't look so bad at the moment, actually. It's a nice little beach ball spinning waiting symbol. Look at that. And appearances, etc. So yeah, I'll have a look out of that. And we'll have a look at if there's any install applications. Uh, well, there's utilities, that's the only thing there. Okay, we've got some things. Calculator. Oh, very nice and clean, very nice. Calendar. Oh, doesn't seem to be anything on that one. 
Hardware Pro. Let's see if that works. Oh, I've seen that error before on uh, another OS. And go install remote systems. Okay, all right. Just drag that down. Okie dokie. Let's have a look. Uh, right, okay. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to just... Uh, yeah, the networking's fine. Picked it up. This is good. Sometimes I have a problem on this uh, test machine. It doesn't always automatically... Uh, oh, what was that? Oh. Makes the window go all funny when you go to the top left. That's nice. It's weird. Let's open up a new uh, window see what it does. Ah, very nice. Let's see if it shifts windows. Okay. Yeah, that's really nice and smooth. I like that. That is really nice. Hmm. Default and Pro. wonder what that is. Hmm. Okie doke. And the global menu actually, yeah, like I thought, it, the global menu applies to each particular window that you've got in the forefront. So if you're not using macOS, it can be a little bit, a little bit strange. I will just close that down. Okay. And yeah, I mean that's I think that's about all for n the moment. Uh, we'll uh, log out. Oh, no, we'll shut down. Oh, I like that as well. That's really nice. I'll try again. It's the little things that please me. Yeah, I like the way it fades out. That is really, really nice. Well, I mean, you know, this is... Uh, my experience with MacOS is uh, very limited, so I wouldn't know uh, how accurate this is. But it seems to be really, really nice. I think it's, um, it's extremely pleasing to the eye. If you want a, a visual experience, I think it looks great. I think everything from the About screen graphics to the desktop, to the theming, to the, the the logout screen, the way it fades and it 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 looks it looks it looks great. I think this is this is a great time for FreeBSD. I think we got in. Uh, of course, you've got Hello System, and then you've got Cult BSD, which I reviewed in the last video. And now you've got this, which is Arix Every Ten. You know, and someone's going to have to tell me how you pronounce it. I am terrible with uh, pronouncing words, but yeah, you know, yeah. So we got three. MacOS style or inspired OSs based on FreeBSD, and that's brilliant. And I say this is also like the previous video. This is this OS is uh, pre-alpha, so plenty of work to do, plenty of uh, improvements, and plenty of refinement. And hopefully, uh, the developer will stick at it. I think she will. Um, we're all leading busy lives, so I mean, you know, we do it when we can in the spare time. But even if it's only little bits at a time, it's still it's still welcome. And more the better, more the merrier, as they say. Anyway, this is just a quick look. I know people will be saying, why don't you do it more in depth? But, you know, but it looking, it is looking very good. So uh, kudos to the developer. Excellent work. And uh, it's one that we'll be keeping an eye on for, uh, for next time, I think. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.